Your doctor has recommended a laparoscopic surgical procedure either to aid in diagnosis or to treat a medical problem in your abdomen, the area between your chest and groin. But what does that actually mean? A laparoscope is a narrow tube that contains a light source and a small video camera. Using a laparoscope, the surgeon is able to operate by making one or more very small incisions through which the sterile laparoscope and possibly other instruments are inserted into the body. Using the laparoscope's video camera, the surgeon is able to explore and inspect the interior of the abdomen, often allowing the surgeon to see with greater detail and with more clarity than with the human eye alone. Non-laparoscopic surgery means making an incision large enough to allow the surgeon to see the entire operative field as well as to fit his or her hands and instruments into the area of the human body on which the operation is being performed. Laparoscopic surgery benefits the patient because it is almost always less invasive than traditional surgery, which means that it reduces post-operative discomfort, causes less scarring, and can dramatically speed both recovery and healing. Surgical procedures performed by making an incision large enough to expose the entire operative area are called open procedures. Your doctor believes that your medical condition and overall state of health make you a good candidate for less intrusive laparoscopic surgery. However, it is important to understand that during the procedure, your surgical team is always prepared to convert a laparoscopic procedure to an open procedure should they feel that your condition requires a more direct approach. If the surgical team makes this decision, you will find upon waking up that your doctor has made a larger incision and that healing may proceed more slowly. Converting to an open procedure will affect the length of your recovery and will probably require hospitalization. Of course, no surgery is completely risk-free. But your physician believes that if you decide not to undergo the recommended procedure, you may be putting your health at risk. After allowing a few minutes for the anesthetic to take effect, a small incision is made above the umbilicus. Then a hollow needle will be inserted through the abdominal wall. And the abdomen will be inflated with carbon dioxide. An umbilical port is created for the laparoscope. One or more incisions will be made, with care taken to keep the openings as small as possible. During the procedure, the surgeon will use the laparoscope to find and identify the areas in your body of interest, as well as to guide any other instruments required for the completion of the procedure. Then the instruments are withdrawn. The carbon dioxide is allowed to escape. The muscle layers and other tissues are sewn together. And the skin is closed with sutures or staples. Finally, one or more sterile dressings are applied.